Let's start working on question 2.3 now. So suppose that there are two firms and they both emit a thousand ton of CO2. So each of them emits a thousand tons. Now, the firms differ in the cost of reduce, reducing emissions. So we have a cost of reducing emissions shown, shown by this variable E. And the cost of reducing the emissions is a function of E. That's literally what it says. And these are the functions. Now, the government decided that the CO2 emissions should be reduced to 1500 ton in total. Now in part A, suppose the government uses a cap and trade policy with the cap at 1500 ton. Okay, what is the price that arises on the market for a permit? Now, what does it mean? If, if the emissions must be reduced to 1500 ton, it means it's possible to pollute 1500 ton. And at the moment in total, we are polluting two firms of a thousand ton, that's 2000 meaning what we actually have to reduce what we actually have to reduce is 2000 like actually let me change colors because that's too much green that's going to be 2000 minus the 1500 that we must to achieve so there must be a reduction in emission of 500 tons so in total the emission must be in total the emission reduction must be 500 ton tons remember that the emission reduction is given by this variable e so we will have reduction done by the first company plus reduction done by the second company and that must equal to 500. So we have one relationship. What else do we need? Since this is a cap and trade policy, remember that to achieve the optimal level, we want the marginal costs of the firm to be equal, meaning that we want the marginal cost of firm one to be equal to the marginal cost of firm two. And that's the second relationship. Since we have to keep both in mind, we will solve a system of equations based on this. So let's do it over here. So we have, we have the marginal cost of fir first company equal to the marginal cost of second company and also emission of first company plus emission of the second company must equal to 500. Let's just zoom out, get some more space and start doing the math. So what's going to be the marginal cost? Well, the marginal cost is the derivative of the cost function. So in the case of the first company, it's going to be the derivative of this expression with respect to E. So we will have the constant of one over six times e squared derivative that's just two times e one and that must equal to the marginal cost of the second company and the marginal cost of the second company is going to be the derivative of the cost of the second company so what's that going to be well that's the constant of one over four one over four multiplied with the derivative of e of the second company to the power of two so that's two times e of the second company what we also want is that e one plus E2 is equal to 500. That's the relationship we're working with right now. What else can we do here? We can cancel out some terms. So because this is an equation, we can cancel out two with two and also one over six, one over four. Well, if we simplify both expressions by two, um, over here we, were, we are left with one over three and on this side we are left with one over two. Now let's just write E1 in terms of E2. So if we keep in E1 on one side, what do we get as a result? Well, E1 is going to be equal to 1 over 2 times E2, 1 over 2 times E2, and we're taking this term to the right. So we're dividing by 1 over 3. If we're dividing by 1 over 3, it means we're multiplying with the inverse. So 3 over 1. And besides that, we also want, besides that, we also want that E1 plus E2 e1 plus e2 is equal to 500 okay now what else can we do now what else can we do now uh, let's see e1 e1 is gonna equal to 1 over 2 times 3 that's 3 over 2 multiplied with e2 and what we can do we can substitute this relationship this relationship into the second equation so that we have an equation with one variable only and we can solve it so we will have we will have e1 right e1 from here which is equal to 3 over 2 multiplied with e2 plus e2 so we add e2 equals to 500 equals to 500 okay we can solve this now what is 3 over 2 times e2 well 3 over 2 that's 1.5 so that's 1.5 times e2 plus 1 times e2 that's equal to 2.5 multiplied with e2 and that's going to be equal to 500 and besides that we know that e1 is going to be equal to 3, 3 over 2, which is the same as 1.5 multiplied with E2. So our first step is to actually calculate E2. Well, E2, E2 is going to be 500 divided by 2.5, meaning that E2 is going to be equal to 200. So E2 is going to be equal to 200 
and E1 is going to be equal to 1.5 times 200 which is equal to 300 and again this solution works out quite well because the sum is indeed 500 and that's what we want the total emissions remember the total emissions over here they must be equal to 500 and 300 plus 200 is exactly that now the question is what is going to be the price well the price of the permits under the cap and trade policy remember that in equilibrium the price is equal to the marginal cost of the companies so we can just substitute we can just substitute the emissions into one marginal cost let's say marginal cost of firm one and we will find out the price now what was the marginal cost of firm one that was that was uh, over here um, one over where was it two over six that's one over three times e1 so one over three times e1 is equal to the marginal cost of the first company one over three times e1 that's going to be our price what is e1 well we calculated the the emissions by the first company is equal to 300 units 300 tons so we're substituting 300 over here meaning that 300 times 1 over 3 300 times 1 over 3 uh, is going to be equal to just 100 so the price is going to be equal to $100 for the permit and we are done